Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to our review of the hotel that we stayed in in Morocco, which was the Be Live Adults Only Resort. Now, a bit about Morocco, we went to Marrakesh, which is the capital of Morocco and as of 2014 had a population of about a million people. The hotel that we were staying in, the Be Live Adults Only Collection, is just to the east of the main town and came with a free shuttle bus into the main square of Morocco. And just a reminder, if you like the videos that we're putting together, then please do like and subscribe to the channel so that we know what content to keep bringing you. So here we are just arriving at the Be Live Adults Only Resort, also known as the Be Live Collection walk into this lovely foyer area where there's reception and some seating there's also often a tea station here as well although we weren't offered any tea we would have been able to go there and have it you also see there's quite a few cats in the area and from the main kind of atrium area it's also where you get to the lobby bar out the back of the main reception area you've got all these water foot features now due to a drought in Morocco we're told by our guide there that no fountains are operating so as you walk around the hotel you'll see that it's set out like riads you've got these little courtyards so walking through one of these kind of riad or square areas takes you to our room which is 5012 on the ground floor this was just one of the standard all-inclusive rooms offered in the hotel. So walking in you've got the bathroom on your right hand side but on your left hand side you've got a fantastic amount of covered wardrobe space. There was limited hangers though so I would suggest that you take your own hangers if necessary. You've got a decent sized safe that will take a decent laptop, some drawers and there's your laundry basket as well and then some shelf areas above. I managed to put a suitcase in and there's your laundry price list as well for any laundry services that you might want such as ironing, washing, cleaning etc. They've got another wardrobe which also has a built-in shoe rack at the bottom and again as you can see very little hangers so I would suggest if you do take lots of clothes you want to hang up then taking your own hangers would absolutely be worth it and there you can see the shelf above that I managed to put a suitcase in. And turn it back round to the right you've got a full length mirror and walking into the bathroom. Now as far as I'm aware all of the rooms have the same style of bathroom so each room has this bath with a window through as you can see there's a blind there that you can roll up and down. You've got a lovely shower head in there as well. There's your towel rack. You've got double sinks. Built in hair dryer. Lovely walk-in shower and like a lot of hotels now they're going for the reusable bottle so you get the soap and shampoo attached to the wall which I think is a really good idea and they refill those regularly and then to the right you've got a toilet and a separate room spinning back round and walking out of the bathroom into the main area of the room now all of the rooms are air conditioned you're able to adjust the temperature the room temperature stayed nice and cool as well you've got these double sized beds so two people can use the bed otherwise you can just have a massive bed for one person each depending on what you want obviously you're running on European power outlets so make sure you take the adapters that you need got a nice sized TV area for your suitcases to go etc and then of course your mini fridge they do keep your room topped up with water obviously you can't drink the tap water in Morocco you can drink the tap water but often makes people that aren't used to it quite ill you've got tea and coffee as you'd expect you've 
for your information on the spa that they offer there as well. So here's the price list for the mini bar, which I'll show you again shortly in a little bit more detail. You can order some nice packs that will be kept in the fridge for you. You've got a couple of drawers, chair and a stool. And of course, you've got your outside area as well, which is a lovely sort of terrace used for drying your swimwear, etc. Although if you're on a terrace at the back of the rest at the hotel, they do have a note that says, please do not hang any items up for drying. Although there is nowhere else in the room to dry anything up in the towel rack. But there you are. That is the room tour of our standard room at the B Live Hotel. And here is then just a bit of a closer view of what you can order for the room. So you could order some miniatures, etc. Um, or you could order a bottle of champagne with some chocolates. Going back to the main check-in is the view of the different restaurant times and the Wi-Fi password. These are the swim-up rooms that you can get as well. Really, there's no difference to the room other than you get this sort of plunge pool area with your two sun loungers. And here's one of the main pools. This is the one we spent most of the time in. You've got these lovely cabana beds that you can get in if you're there at the right time. A couple of different levels. And then you've got the bar at the front. Now, I would say that the bar service was very slow for a hotel like this. Um, but I think that's to kind of slow some people down when they're drinking. This is the other pool, this is the entertainment pool. Uh, I don't have any photos from the day, but this is what you would see at night, and this is where you'll do things like acro aerobics, etc. Then you've got the spa. We went for a massage while we were there. That was a great experience, as well as a hammam. There's the waiting area for the spa. And what you've also then got under the spa is a lovely enclosed or indoor pool area as well which is really nice Going on to the food you've got three main restaurants and you've got the snack bar which also serves breakfast as well so it'll do like a continental breakfast in the morning and then at lunchtime it will do your burgers pizzas etc. The food I have to say for an all-inclusive hotel I was incredibly surprised about and is one of the best hotels we've ever stayed in for food and I would say would rival the Hard Rock Hotel so if you want to go and have a look at our food tour of the Hard Rock Hotel in Tenerife then the link is at the top now you can click on and go and take a look. So this is the continental or some of the breakfast items so we've got the pastries we've got the chicken cheese or sausage cheese and toast and then we've got a fruit salad this is one of their lunch items, so this is just the paninis and the fruit platter which was absolutely amazing as well, some really really lovely fresh fruit. Now the one thing that I would say is it's always a bit of a shame when you go to a hotel and you order wine and it comes in a plastic glass, but it's even more of a shame when it comes in a standard plastic glass as well, not even something that looks like a wine glass. And then at night the snack bar turns into an outdoor entertainment area and this is where the main entertainment for the hotel happens as well. And then there's the main kind of a la carte restaurant which you're allowed to go in once per week or once per visit if you're an all-inclusive guest and this was absolutely brilliant it served a really nice array of Moroccan food the service in here was brilliant and you can also if you want to pay for extra or more expensive bottles of wine in this restaurant as well which are priced very reasonably so for starters you get Kaivana Mouz Bouche which is sort of like a, a hummus bowl that you can eat so you've also got the chickpeas on top then I had a Moroccan soup which came with candy dates on the side. We also had, for starter, a sort of chicken puff dish, which was really, really tasty as well. And I'd say that the quality of food in this restaurant was brilliant and was also better than the buffets you'd expect. So here was my monkfish, which was my main dish. And then we also had a lamb dish as well, which was sort of like a lamb tagine 
and that was really, really tasty. And then for me, the real surprise was when we moved on to the desserts. I ordered a chocolate melt in the middle sort of chocolate fondant, which was great, came in this dish that it had been cooked in as well, and you could tell due to the heat that it had really been cooked in that cast iron pot. And then we also had a meal foy. Now, the buffet, I've only got one photo of, which is coming next. The buffet food was absolutely brilliant, and I think for a five to seven day stay, you should be really, really impressed with uh, the quality of food that's on, on offer and the variety as well. So that's our tour of the Be Live Adults Only Hotel in Marrakesh. It was absolutely brilliant. If you've got any questions, then please do feel free to write any comments below and I'll answer them. And if you like the video, then please do remember to like and subscribe. That's really important for us.